The video you are about to watch contains strong language, so viewer discretion is highly advised. It is also recommended that if you are watching, to use headphones for the best sound experience. With that being said, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, High Roller here once again, bringing you some more Mass Effect 2. And, yeah, Samara just like brutally fucking killed her daughter. <laughs> Shit. Alright, I, I guess um, we're done here. Yeah, we're literally done here. So, we are going to go back to the Normandy and deal with Tali's little side mission quest to or whatever. No, oh, I'm not dealing with you all. Literally just trying to get back to the fucking ship and I literally cannot sprint at all. fucking scoot this chair to where I'm more comfortable. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Figures. Okay. You had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. The Normandy crew delivered, including you. You're too kind. We were there to help, but Edie gets the credit this time. The elusive man made sure Edie was installed for this mission. Now I see why. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Okay, cool. I'll be here if you need anything. So I need to figure out how to do this. Ship enhancements. Okay. We can definitely use that. Um. Fucking shit. Yeah, we are going to need that heavy armor. <clears throat> I need platinum to research this. God damn. Okay. Guess I could do one of these. Fuck it, let's do this one. Just trying to see. Wait, Shepard can complete this research product. Project multiple times. Mm. Getting them upgrades, man. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no risk. Getting off track. Discovery. 
based on Prothean Collector Connection, can examine technology, chart Reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Does knowing how the Protheans fell tell us anything useful about how to stop the Collectors? Or the Reapers? Not yet. More useful as motivation. Effects on Protheans more than indoctrination, body modification. No self-preservation instinct. Old injuries not healed, no reproduction, just cloning. Technology overriding biology, not augmenting. No art, no culture, closer to husks than slaves. Tools for Reapers. Protheans dead, collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. Okay. I didn't think Enjoy you challenge. Wasn't looking for other work before, don't mean to. Suspect you won't see any art in collective. I'm sorry. I know that was important, I, but I'm quite my Xeno science studies range. What is the buzz <laughs> Works other way too. Advancement before culture is ready. You blame the yeah, Solarians? Instead, Solarians came. Disrupted. Thanks for sharing. Proud to be here, work. Shepherd. Thank you for including me. Yeah, it's a good thing I skipped through him singing. That probably would have got me a copyright strike. And no, that's not a joke either. It probably would have. <laughs> What's this area of the ship? This is the FT. This allows lag-free communication even when you are logging you out. Cool. Come on, open the goddamn door. Let's talk to him. Commander, I'm more interested. Sounds good. Talk. I could use some doubt. The way some people talk, we may as well be dead already. Hard for the crew to relax. No kidding. The next Normandy gets a lounge. They better not need to do this again. Rebuilding everything. I can verify that. Yeah. It's a hell of a job, isn't it, Shepard? Being the good guys. Wouldn't be the high road if it was easy. You've got to figure. I bet we have a lot more. I hear that. Out. Anyway, I need to get back to work. Woo! No messages for you, Commander. All right. Let's go to the next place. Thane probably hates our guts. As a matter of fact, I, I know he fucking does. I want to save this game. Yes, please. See what she has to say. My dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret. But I am free. It is not a feeling. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morith was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. You killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. What will you do now that Morath is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. There's no way to correct the condition Morath had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari exclusive pairings. I don't know. I thought Ardat Yachi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yachi are sterile, Shepherd. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. 
I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace, due in no small part to you. Okay. <clears throat> Thane probably does not want to talk to us at all. Shepard. How are you holding up? Holding up. I do feel as if I'm holding myself up. But I said I would help you against the Collectors. If nothing else, that gives me something to focus on. Have a few minutes to talk. There is nothing left to speak of, Shepard. I failed to save my son. He was my last chance to leave the world better than I found it. But you are leaving. Reducing. The only task I took of my own volition was to stop Kolya. Do you mind if I Not ask at you? all. We need to have my the old best contact room. network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. Guess he's not going to fucking do anything. He's just going to stand there. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, need to go this way. Oh, yeah. Give Chakwas her, uh, her fucking brandy or whatever it is. regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could I won't make the same mistake again why don't we open this bottle right here right now you and me you crack open the bottle I'll get the glass <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins back but Jenkins pops up and yells that was awesome <laughs> oh Jenkins Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Vrolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish he weren't, but... Sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that? once here's to simply being happily drunk I'll drink to that <laughs> oh god the screen's all fucked up <laughs> she passed out <laughs> access to the AI core is restricted oh god <laughs> Perfect time to go and talk to Miranda, right? Hey, baby. Do you have a minute, Miranda? I do. I suppose we should talk. I don't know what this is. If this is stress or just blowing off steam or... I care about you, Miranda. And I think you care about me. This is no time for emotional uh -oh. entanglement. You and I know it's about to get steamy. We know how unlikely it is that we're coming back alive. What idiotic bunch of hormones thought that now was a great time for love? Who said anything about love? I'm just trying to get you into bed. <laughs> you ass. <ask. laughs> Come on, Miranda. You want this. Yeah. Bear dear. Promise me, damn it. 
<laughs> I died once already. I don't plan to do it again. Take me some time. When I'm ready, I'll come by, okay? He's like <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> God damn, man. All right, let's go and um, talk to Garrus. <laughs> Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonis. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than collectors or reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. <laughs> it's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Sarah to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I prefer blind optimism. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. <laughs> it was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. <laughs> Shit. All right, I think we talked to everybody here, so we can go down to the next deck. Let's go down to deck four, check it out. This is one of those things, guys, like with this game. It's one of those things where you have to uh, maintain it. You know, and you gotta constantly, uh, think you know what I'm trying to say. Maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those things you have to constantly keep track of. Shepard. Just checking in. How you doing? The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo. Then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. That's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info was floating around in there? 
less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Okay. Let's go in here. You came all the way down here to see us? You speak to me, yeah. officer. I'm in what can we do? area. Well do, Commander. I'm amazed, ship. Tally. Whenever we have time, I've gotten the migrant fleet's location. I'll get back to you, Tally. Talk to you later. Let's try talking to Jack again. I don't think it's gonna do any good though. Yeah, I guess that's completely just fucked then. So yeah, I'm at a loss on what to do for her. Guess she's just gonna have to die. Her along with uh, Thane, I guess. I don't fucking know. But anyway, let's go back to the second deck. And... You know what, actually... Let's go to the captain's cabin. Because I don't know if we've been in here or not. Red looks better, I think. I don't fucking know. Customize our gear, yeah. Change our armor and shit. Whoa. Whoa. -ho. Shields 10, health 10. Kinds of collars and shit. Terminus armor looks kind of cool. Yeah, I kind of like that.
Alright, I think that's enough shit. We can uh, go and do Tally's mission now, I guess. After wasting like 25, 26 mi minutes just fucking around. This video is going to take so long. So fucking long to load. <laughs> so fucking long. Alright, let's leave here. And... Go to the mass relay. And we're going to go help Tally. This mission here, I think, is more diplomatic. So we're going to be doing a lot of fucking talking, I think. So we better get our words right. <laughs> Let's take uh, Garrus with us. Get some of the old crew anyway. Okay, I'm saving right here. I can't believe they're charging Talizora. Yeah, Talizora can't even get a quarter cap to the stand. Talizora vs. Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Ron, Shepherd Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaron Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron. Oh, shit. Vas Normandy. <clears throat> I'm afraid I did, Tally. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. 
You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. I take it being associated with the human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zorovas Nima. Whatever we must call you legally. I guess we should get started. Does Tali have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. Fuck. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. <coughs> it's like barely a quarter after six. Fucking birds are already awake. Still dark outside. who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us alive. The accused Talia Zoravas Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Talia crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Tali's captain, Shepard must stay. Objection withdrawn. Shepard vs. Normandy. Your crew member Tali Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? If it helps Tali, I will. But in her heart, she remains Tali Zora vs. Nima. A proud member of the migrant fleet. I regret that our captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. It is a simple... Lie to them if you must, Tal Chorus, but don't lie to me and expect me to stay silent. The human is right. Admirals, please. Shepard's willingness to represent Tali Zora in this hearing is appreciated. Tali, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? How could Tally have brought Geth to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tali isn't accused of bringing back entire units, only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. But I would never send active Geth to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. Oh, shit. I appreciate the need for this trial, Admirals. But right now, our first concern must be the safety of the migrant fleet. The Normandy stands ready to assist in whatever capacity necessary. Thank you. Quarian strike teams have attempted to retake the ship, so far without success. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death, 
instead of exile. I'm looking for my father, you bastard! You intend to retake the Alurai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. With your permission, Admirals, yes. The good of the fleet must come first. And Tally needs to find her father. Agreed. And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is cleared of these charges. We can discuss that later. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alorai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. The shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. It's fucking people, man. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alrai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard, and I need to find out. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. Oh shit! That will change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything. I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial. Why? The Admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Alloray. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry, we cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. I know you're trying to help her, Admiral, but that was over the line. She has nobody else to speak for her, Shepard. I am doing everything in my power. That's what her father would have wanted. Don't say it like that. He could still be alive on that ship. You should get to the Alarai soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? We should move on. Good luck on the Alarai. Stone cold, man. If anyone can retake the Alarai, Talizoi can. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Talia a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quib Quib. Do not ask about the name. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. You have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Sarah are to be lauded. But like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created. The people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. We should okay. Go. Goodbye, Talizora. I'm surprised to hear you I say don't that. I hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Okay. I hope to hell we're going the right way. Shepard Vast Normandy. Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alarai? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many Marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of geth, though. More than there should have been. 
There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, all right. I mean that they're afraid the Geth are building or repairing more of themselves from materials on the Alarai. <coughs> Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock their shuttle now. Good luck with those Geth, Talizor. Kill us alive. Oh, shitness. Yeah, I think one of the uh, council members, I think they had something to do with that. It doesn't take much common sense to know what, uh, what politics entails. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, hello. Forty two hundred isn't bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Forty two hundred credits. See what this can give us. Fuck. Wouldn't go down fast enough. This is valuable. Another 4,200 credits, fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Be fucking kidding me.
3,000, meh. This console might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. Forming experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Did you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, Father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the homeworld. Was this going to bring us back home? Maybe it's time for your people to let go of reclaiming your world from the Geth. You have no idea what it's like. You have a planet to go back to. My home is one whole breach away from extinction. You've got a place here, Tali. Don't throw it away in a war you don't need. Don't need? Shepard, if I don't wear a helmet in my own home, I die. A single kiss could put me in the hospital. Every time you touch a flower with bare fingers, Inhale its fragrance without air filters. You're doing something I can't. Damn the pilgrimage. Without it, I might never have known what I was missing, what we had lost when we lost our home world. <clears throat> Fuck, I don't know. If your people feel that way, why haven't they prepared for war? Just like that? Can you imagine the complexities of taking your entire society into war? And too many people are afraid. Or comfortable or guilt ridden over whether we were cruel to the Geth. So we've done nothing. At the very least, we can take back one ship. <sighs> Come on. God damn it. One thing I always hated about fighting the Geth, they fucking storm you. Like they use their sheer numbers and they just fucking rush the shit out of you. And for that many fucking Geth hunters to spawn, Jesus Christ. Sorry about. Maybe. 
He would have known I'd come. Maybe he left a message. That is a Geth Prime. Fuck, I don't know what to say. <laughs> We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the Admiral say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. If I fail this, I am going back. I am loading that fucking save that I took at the beginning of this video. And I am going to restart the whole fucking thing. I'm not going to record it, obviously, because that would take way too fucking long. And I'm not about to do that. So, if I fail this, just 
Just know that I'm going to, uh... I'm going to reload it. Sorry, we're late. We cleared the Geth from the Alarai. It should be safe for your people to return. Thank you. We sincerely appreciate your efforts to aid the Quarian people. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? Please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Tally helped me defeat Saren and the Geth in the Citadel. That should be all the evidence you need. But if you want more, I can present the Normandy, which Tally also saved from Geth forces, even though it's too quiet for her to sleep well. We still don't know what happened on the Alarai. No, Admiral, you don't. But you gave her my name. I'm her captain. I trust her with my life, and I'm telling you that she's innocent. And we should just trust this human's opinion? We placed Tally's life in the human's hands. Would you doubt those words if they came from a Quarian, Captain? No. Based on the rest of the evidence, I suppose that I wouldn't. Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? Exile. <laughs> Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are clear oh, of shit. all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. With all due respect, Admiral, I didn't represent one of your people. I represented one of mine. So you did, Shepard. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Talizor of us, Normandy. Kill us alive. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. Well, you can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Come on, Talizora Vas Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you. This looks interesting. Hell yeah. We win. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, she got a new outfit, so we didn't fuck up. That's how you know you have a successful mission, if your allies get new clothes. <laughs> oh, shit. So I guess we're done with all the uh, side quests for our uh, allies, I guess. No idea. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. A new message at private terminal. Of course I did. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna save the game then. I figured I was going to fuck up or something. <laughs> you can never be too sure. You know? But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I am ending this video here. And if you enjoyed it, remember, hit that like button. Leave a dislike if you disliked. Leave a comment in the comment section down below because I enjoy reading your guys' feedback. And it's always nice to have a conversation. And not only that, but if you haven't already or if you're brand new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and a notification bell because every little bit helps. Just a couple clicks away and it helps out tremendously with this channel. So... With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, until the next video, please stay tuned and peace out.